back to my channel or if this is your very first time joining me welcome i'm so excited to have you here today in today's video we have my best top lip products shout out to montana she is a subscriber and she actually recommended that i did this video and i was like this is actually an amazing idea because I really do have so many lip products that I genuinely love like these are my ride or dies and I want to share them with you guys we have lip liners lip treatments glosses lipsticks lip creams we have everything in this video top-notch products that I have tried many many times that I'm obsessed with and I 10 10 recommend all these products will be linked in the description box for direct purchase if you guys are interested and without further ado let's go ahead and get started be sure to like this video so I can know what content you guys want to see next and if you guys want this as a series what video do you want to see next of like my top blank products don't forget to subscribe and click the bell I post every Tuesday and Friday but I have been posting a lot more and follow my social media which are up here for some fun Instagram content I love posting over there on Instagram to inspire you guys and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna start with lip liners. I love lining my lips. I feel like for me, lining my lips is like an essential step to getting my lips looking, you know, just plumper and thicker and a lot better. So these are my top three liners, color-wise, formula-wise, packaging-wise, and performance-wise. The Patrick Top Precision Lip Crayons are to die for, you guys. These are my favorite lip liners, like out of the three that I'm showing you guys. This is my favorite formula by far. I have She's Proud and She's Strong, but I accidentally picked up two She's Proud, um, but I have the other and I love both tones. So I'm wearing She's Proud on my lips right now mixed with another Patrick Top product that I'll talk about in a few moments. One of my favorite things about this product is the tip. I love how precise it is and how it is angled in such a unique way. It really lets you get in those lip lines and really lets you just be super precise and stay in the lines of lining your lips. I also really love this color. It's a beautiful neutral brown tone. It is so insanely perfect. I've never found a more perfect lip liner. I do like the KKW lip liners um, a lot and I don't know why I'm not talking about them in this video but those are also really 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 amazing i just didn't pick one out of my drawer so i'm also going to add the kkw lip liners because those are really good as well but for some reason patrick Ta liners are just it for me i also love the packaging on them i love the chrome and i just like love how nice they are they last on my lips all day they blend so well with the lip product that i pair on top of it with they never dry out my lips they're super easy to apply they're not intimidating and i think the price is amazing for this lip product so she's proud and she's strong are my two favorite lip liners she's proud is a little bit lighter she's strong has a little bit of a deeper dark tone to it but it's really pretty to pair with a lighter lip to give you that kind of opened plumped lip effect the next lip liner i have for you guys is drugstore this is my favorite i started using it two and a half years ago when nazanin kavari talked about it um i love her because we're both persian um so i just like love her so much and i trust everything she talks about and so I started trying this lip liner and I became obsessed with it. This is the NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner. This is an insanely beautiful color. I would call it more, more cool toned than the Patrick Ta one, like side by side. That's the next one and it is a little bit darker. Now you do have to sharpen this one, the Patrick Ta one, you don't have to sharpen. You just click the bottom of it to get more product. That might be a make or break for some of you guys, but for me personally, I don't mind. I don't necessarily love pencil products that I have to sharpen, but you know, like Patrick Ta takes it for me on this. Like, lip liner kind of part but I still love this one a lot super easy to apply I love the color it gives me it's a little bit more drying than the Patrick Ta one but it really just does give you a nice precise lip line the formula is also amazing it's just an amazing lip liner that is also affordable all right so I have two lip treatments that I apply at night depending on which one I want these are my top two for plump soft beautiful lips both of these help smooth your lines it just depends on which brand you want so the first one is the Laneige lip sleeping mask and my favorite scent is sweet candy I've gone through so many of these I love the original one for such a long time and then they came out with this one around Christmas and this is just like my favorite scent now this is an amazing lip mask you guys it helps smooth your fine lines it plumps your lips overnight the first time I used this I woke up the next day and I was like it looks like I just got lip injections when I don't even have those at all like it literally just made my my lips so beautiful and so 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 amazing it makes application of your products the next day go on so much better there's a bunch of different scents to choose from so you will find one that you like the original one is amazing it tastes and smells like strawberry bananas it's really good but sweet candy is by far my favorite and it's also allure rated this one is a berry complex and it has a moisture wrap in it it's super plumping super moisturizing and it really does work i highly recommend 
trying this product if you have always been, you know, wanting to find a lip mask to help your lips just be a lot more healthier. This is an amazing, amazing purchase and it lasts you forever. And then the next one is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. This is one that is quite new to me. I've had it for a few months and I've used it enough to know that I do really, really like it. But it does depend on me which one I go for. Right now I'm just trying to use up my Laneige one and then use this one because it's been sitting in my drawer. But I really love this one as well. This one is a Japanese peach seed jelly. So it has a lot better ingredients in it for your lips i know the price is a little bit different on both of these comparing them the ingredients in both of these are going to be amazing but the tatcha one does have better ingredients because they are japanese ingredients and those ingredients always tend to blow me away with you know the quality of them and how well they work both of these you just apply at night before you go to bed and you wake up and your lips are just so much better like it's actually insane how amazing both of these are 10 10 recommend both i love them so much all right so next i'm moving on to some lip balms that i really love the use i like to get out of lip balms is applying them while i do my makeup before i apply my liner and my liquid lips just to pop my lips and to make them just super nourished and moisturized i also use these in the morning when i wake up and throughout the day and i also like to keep these in my purse for long trips. So I have four with me that I swear by and I love so much. The first one is one that I just got in my recent Sephora haul. It is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This lip product really shocked me because I was excited to try it, but I am just someone who like sticks to the other one that I'm gonna be talking about with you guys. But I tried this and I smelt it and oh my gosh, the smell of it is amazing. It smells like cupcakes, like vanilla cupcakes. I just am obsessed with the smell. It's basically a vanilla smell and it's also vegan. I love this because it is a super silky formula. When you apply it to your lips, it is not cakey. It doesn't feel like heaviness on your lips. I just love how silky it feels. So it has shea butter and also muru muru butter in it. So it really is going to help pump your lips. They're natural moisturizers. So those are just gonna go in your lips and just help moisturize your parched lips. It also has vegan waxes in it, so it never feels greasy, and the scent is literally so heavenly. You can definitely use this day or night, literally whatever you prefer, but I do like more of a concentrated mask, like the Tatcha ones for day or night, or the Laneige, but I really love just using this during the day to help hydrate my lips and really just give them that all-around hydration that I know they need. And next up, we have the Glossier Balm.coms. These just take the cake for me. I love these so much. I've been using them for a year and a half I think. I have all of them but I only picked out my three for you guys today. They have a bunch on their website. You can get them in singles or you can get them in bundles which are cheaper so you can get three for a certain price and it takes a little bit of a discount off for you. You can use these literally anywhere. They're super universal. I like to use them on my cuticles sometimes. Sometimes I take the clear one and just put it through my brows to just make sure they stay all day. I even use them on my elbows and also my lips. So I do have the original one right here. It has no scent, no color added to it. This is the one that I typically use on other parts of my body because it doesn't have any sort of scent or smell. I also have the rosebalm.com, which is a beautiful light pink tint to your lips. So if I ever want something really nourishing, but I also want a little bit of a tint to my lips, that's what I'll go for this one. And then when I'm feeling super extra and I want some shimmer to my lips, I go for the birthdaybalm.com. All of these are amazing. I highly recommend picking these up. I think they're an amazing deal and you can get the bundle for, like I said, a discounted price. They have mango, they have mint, they have cherry, they have berry. They literally have so many. So I just really think everybody should have at least one of these in their life. So moving on to two lip glosses. These are also from Glossier. I have the clear one and I have the red version right here. When I discovered these glosses, I was really taken back by the formula and just the way they apply on my lips. Every gloss that I've tried gathers right here in my corners of my lips and they are sticky and greasy feeling and they just aren't my, my cup of tea. But these are my favorite glosses absolutely ever. I really do love the way both of these catch the light. This red one is super pretty. It may look intimidating, but it's really not, you guys. It just applies like the most perfect, just nice natural kind of pink red tint to your lips it just it's like a natural lip but better and then i'm gonna apply a little bit of the clear one for you guys to see today even though i already have stuff on my lips not sure if you're able to tell the difference because like i said i did have stuff on my lips but i just love these glosses so much they always give me like a mirrored effect like they just look so juicy and beautiful and i love 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 the way they feel on my lips they're never too thick and they're always wearable. Moving on to my all-time favorite lipstick formula. This is the KKW Creme Lipstick, but I have a certain shade that I like. I love all her pinks, all her reds, all her nudes, but my favorite shade in all of the lipsticks she has is shade three. This pairs so well with Patrick Tosh, she's proud lip liner, or even number one or 1.5 in the KKW liners. This lipstick formula is so creamy, so beautiful, so opaque, so non-drying. Like they just look so beautiful on your lips. I love either pat patting this on my lips, like just for a little bit of a color 
color or I'll go full on with it. There's just something about them that's also super moisturizing. I love all the undertones of her lipsticks. And I really like the acrylic packaging. I know some people don't like it for as much money as she has. People say that like her packaging should be like so much better, but I like these. I think they're practical. For the price, I think you get an amazing amount of product. She has so many nudes for you to choose from, so many pinks and so many reds. You can get them in a set on Ulta. I think you get five lipsticks, um, depending on what color you guys want for like 60 something bucks, which is honestly an amazing deal for that many lipsticks. But yeah, I just love these lipsticks. There's not really much to say about them. I just think that they are amazing. I can always count on them to last all day on my lips and to never look bad and patchy and kind of roll up. I just can't say enough good things about these. For all the people who love a matte lip that's super long lasting, my favorite, favorite, favorite liquid lip formula is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paints. This is the shade Unlocked, it's a beautiful fuchsia pink. This is the shade Unattached, it's like a coral pink. And then we have the shade Unbuttoned, which is a beautiful peachy toned nude. First of all, I think the packaging on all these is so, so, so extra and so beautiful. The lip applicator is also super unique. I haven't really seen many things like it. The way it's shaped really lets you get right in there on your lips and the actual applicator is super super hard so it gives you amazing control on your lips I'm gonna swatch all these colors for you guys I love the way these dry down I've had all of these well I've had these two for over a year I just recently picked this one up in a Sephora haul and they have never you know gone bad on me they haven't changed formula they always last so long on my lips and Guys, they're literally so opaque. She has a few other colors, but I'm really hoping she comes out with a lot more neutral toned um, liquid lips in this formula because I really, really, really do love them. They are so amazing. So there are the three shades that I do have. This is unbuttoned, this is unattached, and that is unlocked. I feel like such a queen when I wear these liquid lipsticks because I know they're gonna last all day. They're not heavy and they're not too drying on my lips. And I can just really count on these to last through meals also. Like they always last through all of my meals throughout the day. I just never have to worry about my lips looking bad when I use these products. I probably should have talked about this when I talked about the Laneige lip mask and the Tasha mask. But this is one of my all time favorite lip products. I apply this with my morning time skincare every single morning. I do not forget. This is the Alginous Liquid Lip Collagen. This is the applicator of it. Collagen is what we naturally have in our skin and our lips and our whole body. So just putting it back into your skin or even on your lips is just something that's gonna really help the elasticity, the lines, the plumpness, the firmness, everything. This is a product that I really do think a lot of people need to try and a lot of people need to start implementing into their routine because it does make a difference in your lips. Within a week of using it, my lips are plumper, my lips are nicer, the lines aren't there anymore, and I just all around feel so much better with this product. All right, so I have three lip oils. The first one is the Dior Glow Lip Oil. I really loved the Florence by Millie Bobby Brown one, and I got so many people hooked on that and I'm so glad you guys love it but now that I'm off Accutane I don't really use lip oils too too much throughout the day I actually prefer lip balm because it's a little bit thicker but when I do go for a lip oil these are the three that I go for but mainly this Dior lip glow oil in the shade 02 actually 001 pink first of all the packaging is gorgeous and super super luxurious but I love the doe foot applicator I love how thick and big it is and how it covers all of your lip at once. This one adds a slight pink tint to your lips, but nothing absolutely crazy. It's super hydrating, but it's not a runny oil, so it's not gonna run throughout your lips and onto your makeup on like your actual face. It has an amazing consistency. It's thick, but it's not too thick, but it's not too thin, if that makes any sort of sense. It's like that perfect consistency. There's a ton of other colors on the Sephora website, so you guys are able to See which one that you like best. There's a ton of other colors on the Sephora website so you guys can really see which one you like best. But if you're looking for a really nice lip oil that's super nourishing but adds that really beautiful glow to your lips, I do recommend this. The other two are the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tints. I have Orgasm right here and I have Laguna. I had Laguna on my lips before so I'm not sure if you guys were really able to see it. But these are super thin. These are a lot more thin than the Dior one and they are a lot more kind of like a little bit more oily feeling but yeah they are a lot more thin and like you can't really feel them on your lips as much those are the two shades right there if you're able to see it laguna is like a bronze nude and orgasm is a beautiful like pink gold champagne these add a little bit of tint to your lips but the difference between this and the dior glow, glow lip oil is that it applies more of a shimmer and more of a sheen to your lips because the dior glow lip oil is literally just oil that's it and a little bit of color but this does have a sparkle to it we have three patrick Todd lip products the first one is the major glow lip shine this is the shade she's expensive it's like a pearled crystal color and then she's younger than me which is a beautiful like coral pink shift i love the shift that this lip product has to it i think it's so 
so so pretty it's at the top if you guys can kind of see that i know that's a terrible swatch i love the glow they give to my lips i love the shine they give to my lips the sparkles you don't feel them on your lips they're actually encapsulated into the actual formula so you're not going to feel any sort of grittiness anything from patrick todd really does it for me as you guys can tell i love anything from his whole line so they're super amazing and the other product is the lip creme and she's unapologetic i have this dabbed on my lips with the she's proud liner and the nars laguna um, oil tint i do want him to come out with more shades of this because i can't fully apply this like with its opaqueness on my lips i have to dab it out a little because it's way too light for me so here is that shade right there this is like i said the shade she's unapologetic i think it has two or three other shades such a beautiful creamy lip color like i said it's super opaque i personally like to take a little bit and just kind of dab it onto my lips for a little bit of color super moisturizing and non-drying last but not least we have the Givenchy la rose perfecto liquid lip balm in the shade nude chill 17 this is literally so bougie you guys like it has leather as the actual top like i think that's crazy i got this during the sephora sale and i was just so in shock with this product what i love about it is how airy it is it is super different than any other lip product i've ever tried it feels like so so light but airy like it has air like whipped into it it adds a beautiful nude color to my lips i just love the way it applies it smells really good too so it says online that these have a shea butter cranberry oil and pink pepper extract to nourish support and visibly plump for up to eight hours of hydration yeah and i can definitely agree that it does exactly that it's such an amazing product i highly 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 recommend all right guys those are all my lip products i do hope you guys love this video be sure to check the links in the description box for direct purchase i had so much fun filming this video i'm a lip queen i love lip products so i'm just super super happy i was able to do this video and something i forgot to mention was the fenty beauty universal balms all of those glosses are my favorite so i'm gonna link those down below as well i love you guys so much and i do hope i see you guys in my very next video Mwah. bye guys Thank you.